Thanks to Ford. Hey everybody, Robert Heron here on the CES show floor in the LG booth checking out some sweet display technologies. Now LG and Samsung are basically in a war over their new OLED technology, that's organic light emitting diode. These ultra thin, ultra bright and crisp panels are pretty amazing to look at. LG's technology actually incorporates four color subpixels, the traditional red, blue and green, as well as a white sub channel that gives you extra brightness, which is important for good 3D quality. Pricing is yet to be determined, but uh, the set will be available, they claim, in 2012. Now, another interesting item I saw for the first time here at LG's booth is their new $15,000 3D front projector. This is using a dual SXRD chipset, basically dual lamps for extra brightness and basically backup as well, in addition to dual chips for the imagery. Uh, this will require the use of a silver screen for extra reflectivity for extra brightness when you're doing 3D. And it features uh, improved 2D to 3D conversion and an integrated ATSC tuner so that connect an antenna to it and pull in your local digital content and send it right to the projector. I thought that was pretty nifty. It also features a self-monitoring system that will look at the projected image and the projector will make corrections on the fly, similar to what their TVs do with the intelligence sensor technology. It should be available soon, later this month actually, at the end of January. Also in addition to LG's lineup is their cinema screen series that's going to be the flagship model, the LM9600 ultra-thin bezel. They're talking about a millimeter they can get it down to. We'll see if that actually happens. Of course, it's 3D. It's going to have their smart TV functionality. And another nifty feature that will be incorporated into this set is something called dual play. So for gamers out there wanting to get rid of the split screen effect when you're playing head-to-head -head and each have your own independent view, this is one way to do it. Now, the way this will work is instead of doing a 3D image, well, you'll take that same technology and instead be able to create two separate images for each player, and you'll have a special pair of glasses to go with each player so that instead of, say, doing a left-right view for 3D mode, you'll have a left-left or a right-right for each player, giving them that independent view. These TVs, as well as their, their step-down models, will be available in the March-April time frame. The largest screens they're shipping, upwards of 80 inches and beyond, will be shipping later in the year. Pricing across the board is to be announced. Another interesting item was LG's HomeBot. This is a basically a robotic vacuum system. The current model is the LRV5900. It's currently available for about seven to $800, but coming up is version 2.0, which features, get this, it'll self-dock into a recharging station, and it's dual camera systems on the current model as well as version 2.0, and able to remember where it left off and pick up right where it was cleaning before. So it wastes very little time in terms of getting your room just spotless. Uh, HomeBot version 2.0 will be available in the second half of the year. Pricing is to be announced, and but with the current price of seven to $800 for the current HomeBot, I'm looking forward to checking out that, that system with the dual camera functionality and the ability to perhaps access it with your mobile device as a security unit as well. Interesting way to expand upon a self-cleaning robot. Now, hey, if you're into checking out more of our CES coverage, do visit us at revision3.com slash CES. The Mustang's 4.4-inch message center with track apps is going to log performance data for drivers, including acceleration times, braking times, G-forces, and it's got both a countdown start and an automatic start. It all gets displayed in the Mustang's message center found in the cluster. The message center also displays diagnostic info, fuel economy, and more. Hey, thanks to Ford for sponsoring Techzilla's CES coverage.